Tomorrow is indeed crunch time for West Ham United as the Hammers host Nottingham Forest at the London Stadium. According to Tier 1 sources within the club and the club's insider, ex West Ham United employee, there is a large possibility that David Moyes will be sacked if a heavy loss occurs. And with his job now on the line, it's made it even more pressure for the manager to get a result. Some people have taken to social media to say that they wish for West Ham to lose this game in order for Moyes to lose his job. In my personal opinion, that should not be the case. West Ham should look to win every game regardless of the manager's job security. And saying that you want to lose just to get the manager out comes with a catch-22 situation. Yes, you may get rid of David Moyes, but at the same time, it's three points dropped. And Manchester United is the next opponent after Forrest. So do you think that's good? No, not really on paper. When you look at this Nottingham Forest side, people initially ridiculed Steve Cooper for signing over 30 players in two transfer windows. But if you ask me, this is not necessarily a bad thing. He has an unreal choice of depth and he's improved in every position. He's made this team competent enough to play in the Premier League He's even thrown a few surprise signings along the way. Former Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper Kilo Navas has signed on loan until the end of the season. Renan Lodi has signed from Atletico Madrid, as has, as has his fellow compatriot Felipe. Danilo signed from Palmeiras. He signed Jesse Lingard, as we know, on a free, despite Lingard always saying that he wanted to come back to West Ham. He changed his mind and went to Forest to earn £200,000 a week and became the club's highest earning player. That's something that West Ham fans had a bone to pick with. Since he joined, Lingard thinks that he thought that he'd made the right decision, but he was benched a lot. And I know Sod's Law would suggest that he'll end up scoring against us on, on Saturday. Former Hammer Sheikh Kiate also signed. As did Andre Ayew. Andre Ayew was a one-time club record signing for the Hammers. He was unattached and signed for West Ham. Sorry, and signed for West Ham initially in 2016 for that club record fee, like I say. Then was sold back to Swansea and now he's with Forrest. John Joe Shelby also, although he never played for West Ham, he always scored against us when he was at Newcastle. Um, other notable players. Mangala, a highly rated midfielder from VfB Stuttgart. Wayne Hennessy, Nico Williams, very good wing-back. Moussa Nyakate was one time linked with West Ham. Emmanuel Dennis, who was linked with West Ham as well. Forest has a really good squad and they've got unreal depth. And you know what? If you look at the bigger picture, it's kind of paid off in a way. Because since October the 22nd, Forrest has only lost three league games. Two of those were to Arsenal and Manchester United. And they could be forgiven for that. By the time of recording this, they've had a really good January where they went unbeaten, drawing two and winning two. In February, they've only lost once. Beating Leeds United 1-0, losing 2-0 to Fulham and drawing 1-1 with Manchester City, which is going to be a big confidence boost. Cooper's known for having a very organised team. And some of the attacks that they showed against City show that organisation. A midfield with a square structure, so the ball could pass around freely. Working the ball from the back with the full-backs being encouraged to hold back or push forward, depending on the situation. And the strikers getting into enough space to be able to control the ball and take a shot. This is going to be a very tough game for us, and I'm very nervous. I just know it. Tiate, Lingard, Ayu will score. It'll be 3 0 Forest. I'm not trying to jinx it, but that's probably what's going to happen. Um, for West Ham, Danny Ings is in contention to make his first team start. Moyes has put faith in the striker. Um, Zuma's back in full training. And even Sky Sports cameras showed West Ham saying that the players were getting ready for the game. They didn't seem to be doing a hell of a lot of intense training when that was shown on Sky Sports News. In fact, if anything, they were just jogging around. 
And it even showed how mediocre the training facilities were. To say that's a professional Premier League club, that's one of the top 20 richest clubs in the world, and your training facilities look like that, it's embarrassing, really, and it showed that. There's a bit of discontent at West Ham right now. I know some players are turning on Moyes, and there's going to be a separate video about this. And also, Moyes is not saying anything too much about his job. He's just saying that he's taking it time at a time, and he just hopes that we can turn it around. Well, hope's a beautiful word, and hope is what kills you at the end of the day, so they say. We just don't need to hope. We need to be certain that we can get three points tomorrow. It's three points or bust. As far as Moyes is concerned, it's attack or the sack. It showed desire or be fired. What's it to be? You decide, David. Thank you very much for watching this preview. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all soon. Let's hope for the best on Saturday, hey?